Okay, good evening ladies and gentlemen. I would like to talk to everyone here about a brief overview on fractures. It is extremely important to know about um, because our body is made up entirely of bones, of course, and they can break. They're not, you're not invincible, and in everyday life, something can always happen to you. Um, I would like just point, to just point out that I'm kind of an expert on the subject, you know? Uh, no particular reason, but um, <laughs> I have a lot of experience in this, just through experience. You know, it's not much study, and I didn't go to med school, but yeah, it's very important to know about. So, I want to talk to you guys about um, how to assess your injury, the treatment process, and recovery. So without further ado, let's talk about a few of the common fracture types. To start, we have the oblique fracture, which is where the bone fractures in the slope or spinal form. It hurts, but it can be fixed. And then we have a stress fracture, called a hairline fracture by most doctors. So now you know what that means when I say that. It, it, it's caused when you overwork your body and you um, your, your muscles just have to pass on some of the work to the bones, which your bone is not made to handle so much work. So when the shock absorbers pass on some of that shock to the bone, it just gives up. So that's how you get a stress fracture. It's very, very small and hard to see. That's why it's called hairline fracture. Then we have the commutative fracture. I can't say that, but um, that's a very, very bad type of fracture. It, uh, that's what happens when you manage to shatter your bones, and it's, it splits up into many different ways. It taps your knee wants, really stops, but you know, you're gonna have to get surgery for that. So let's uh, get some visuals going, huh? So we have, <laughs> we have our little man here, Bob. You know, uh, he's not really paying attention too much. You know how we all have our heads buried in our phones these days, not paying attention, not enjoying life, not paying attention. But then all of a sudden, Bob meets Man Post, Man Post meets Bob. This man looks Bob dies. Okay, well, not really. But you know, Bob is uh, in a, a bit of a pickle here, okay? So you know, he has to get an ambulance, head over to the hospital. He can't walk there, obviously. So here we have Dr. Steve, you know? Um, interesting man you got there. But yeah, Dr. Steve. Take a little bit of a look at some of the x-rays to figure out, you know, what's going on with Bob, you know, how can we fix him, right? So let's take a look at the first one. This is an oblique fracture. You can clearly see the uh, slanted break, you know, it's not straight, it's not a uh, normal, it's, it's a slanted, obviously, and that means that you're going to need some a bit of work to get that healed. Then we have a stress fracture, a hairline fracture. <laughs> now, I do not expect anyone to see it, but it's right there. Uh, it's very hard, even for doctors on x-ray, it's very hard to see, but it hurts, you can feel it, but you can't see it that well, but it's there. And then we come to the uh, commutative fracture, which is very, very, very bad. Uh, that's what Bob has, unfortunately, but it's nothing that we can't solve with a bit of surgery. We're not going to get away with just the cast for it. So, you know, we rush him off to the OR, yeah? And the reason why Bob is now happy again is because, uh, well, one, you, they give you morphine to um, reduce the pain. Two, when they put you under for anesthesia, you're awake for about three minutes. But the moment they inject it into you, you feel like you're in slow motion. Now, I've never done drugs anyone, but it, I'm going to imagine that that's how it feels. The moment that, that going under, that's what doing drugs feels like. So, yeah, you're awake for a little bit, but you slowly, you know, descend into unconsciousness. Now, I know a lot of us have a really big stigma against surgery. Don't worry about it. They have dedicated anesthesiologists on duty. They take care of you. They make sure you stay asleep during surgery, and they make sure you wake up afterwards. If that didn't work, then the moment you uh, got a fracture, then you'd be digging your grave and getting your funeral ready instead of no wire to drop. So trust me, you will wake up. They'll take care of you. So, you know, we have Dr. Steve putting them back together. A little screen over there, yeah. It's not exactly 100% accurate, but you Idea. So overall, you know, Bob is well on, the way, on his way to recovery. He has a cast now. You have to have a cast after surgery to make sure you do not break it again. Um, they usually put some metal in there uh, to keep it together. You may, you may live with it for the rest of your life, most of metal at least, but uh, it keeps you going, you know, it keeps it strong. So um, according to the American Association for Orthopedics, it takes about six to eight weeks to heal a foot injury, but I mean, it might not be the foot directly, but it's the same general area. Uh, since it's a commutative fracture, it would take closer to eight weeks than six weeks because that's a really big break. Um, after four weeks or so, you can get your, uh, your cast off. 
but never don't don't think you're all good to go. Okay, your bones are not fully healed. You can't just you know run out to the world and just start doing things. So uh, you know, so just to, to conclude and summarize, you need to ensure that you get medical help. Don't underestimate it. Don't overestimate. Don't get yourself passed out, but don't neglect it. And then you know press on to make it worse. Uh, you need to treat it, which is it could be surgery plus a cast or just a cast. You know, luckily for me with this one, I just got a cast. It was just a stress fracture. And then you need to recover. So be careful. Don't don't try to do things you shouldn't be doing because chances are you'll end up back where you were before. And it'll hurt. And you know it hurts. So don't do it. And uh, so overall, it does apply to everyone. I mean, I may have a condition, but for the rest of you guys, you guys are really active, you know? It could happen to anyone. And stress fracture, definitely. Everyone works kind of hard sometimes in their life. And if you feel like your bone's hurting, you might want to take a rest, because chances are you may just end up with stress fracture. So you need to really pay attention to that. Um, just be cautious, but don't give up life. You know, do the things you enjoy, but minimize risks. Minimize the situations that you'll get yourself into that may just very well hurt you. And Overall, at least now you know what to do when you find yourself in a precarious situation that can be a bit scary, but it's not the end of the world.